Hello everybody, my name is Python and welcome back to another episode of Ark Survival Evolved from the island. So you join us today my friends with us making some tranquilizer darts. Now what we're going to do with this is convert it into shocking tranquilizer darts because today my friends I'd like to try to tame the Uterinus, Uterinus. Apparently you need to go to the snow biomes for that, so I've been going ahead and doing quite a lot of preparation off camera before this episode began. We have ourselves a full set of fur armor, got ourselves even more freaking Rex eggs, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, yeah, I, I, I've literally had to disable them from mating now because this is just unbelievable, guys. This is literally unbelievable. So basically, I think what I'm going to do is put those in there. And I'm just going to eat those because why the heck not? And guys, we're going to go ahead and do this thing. So guys, thank you so much for all of your support in the last episode. You know, the return episode. I truly do appreciate all of your kind words and your support. It does truly mean the world to me, my friends. It really, really does. So, guys... We've got some stuff to do. And of course, guys, like I said in the last episode, if you're still hyped for this series, you guys know what to do. Head down below the video, drop a like rating. I'd very much appreciate it, my friends. Truly, I would. So, what am I doing? That's right. I want to grab myself a little bit of fuel out of there. Because, guys, it's about that time. We're going to make ourselves some more shocking tranquilizer darts. Oh, yeah. So, I've also repaired my long neck rifle as well. So, we're looking pretty good in most aspects, to be honest with you. So, once we have this done... We can equip ourselves our fur armor. In fact, to tell you the truth, let's do that right now. We can do that right now. Yeah, baby. All right. Oh, my God. I just realized that we're going to be, like, incredibly hot as we go along, right? So, yeah. Something to bear in mind, I guess. But, guys, I have never, ever tried to tame a Uterinus. Uterinus? 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 UT. I'm going to call him UT. We've never we've never tamed a Ute before, okay? So we're going to go ahead and do that in today's episode, which, like I say, is why I'm doing this thing. Um, yeah, we haven't really explored the snow biome yet in this series, so I guess today is a good a day as any to actually begin on that. And, uh, yeah... I think we're just about ready, ladies and gents. So, I think what I'm going to go and do is I'm going to take our Argentavis Annie here. We're going to take Annie for a little bit of a ride. There you go. Wait, if I... Hang on a minute. I'm, I'm going to do something really dumb here. So, if I give you the egg... I was just going to say... <laughs> oh, wait, wait. Isn't that, like, extreme cannibalism? Like, Annie the Argentavis just ate its own egg. Um, I'm going to be honest with you guys. I'm not entirely sure how I feel about this. But uh, whatever the case, guys, as you can see, top left of the map there has not been explored at all. So this should be fairly interesting. It is definitely a biome I tried to avoid because it is extremely hostile. It's extremely cold and it's just a very nasty place to be. Uh, in comparison to Dead Island, I'd probably say it's about on par. You can get some real nasty folks in the uh, freaking snow biome, you know, dire wolves, mammoths, except mammoths I think are passive, I guess, I think. I don't know. But guys, we're going to go for a bit of a ride. We're going to go to the snow biome, and uh, here's hoping we don't have too much trouble with this. If there is, then I guess we're just going to have to deal with it. Hashtag deal with it. Sunglasses and everything. Yeah. All right, guys, let's do this thing. Oh, yeah, and I should probably tell you guys the reason why we're going to be taming a ute in today's episode, and that is because it has a very special ability whereby if you've got a bunch of dinos nearby, you roar with the ute, then apparently it will go ahead and buff a whole bunch of damage on the dinos that are surrounding it, right? So the idea is we go ahead, we hatch all of the Rex eggs that we currently have, and we make ourselves a large Rex platform, and then eventually we're going to have ourselves a freaking massive trip over to the green brood mother portal whereby hopefully we could take on our first ever boss like in my personal arc history i've never taken a boss down not even tried it i've never gone to the point where i could try any kind of boss in arc so this my friends is going to be a very new experience indeed and ladies and gents here we are approaching the snow biome i can actually see an alpha raptor over there so i'll tell you what we're gonna go ahead and uh, we're, we're going to become part of this little war that's going on here. hi yeah, Get wrecked, son! Hey, buddy. I'm going to kill you. I'm going to kill you many times. Come on, there we go. Raptor is dead. Oh, and so's the Alpha. Wow, the Alpha Raptor was level 48. Jesus Christ. Wow. Okay, that's pretty nuts, actually. I don't think I've seen an Alpha Raptor with that higher level before. But, uh, you know what? 
pretty happy with it. Alright guys, so we're looking for the Ute, and to be honest, as far as I know, it basically looks like a feathered dino. I feel like it shouldn't be that difficult to spot. But with that all said and done, for me personally, this is very, very unfamiliar territory, right? In fact, I th is there any... Is that a ute down there? Is that a ute? That looks like a ute. I gotta... Yeah, 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 look, look, it's furry. Hang on. Is it? It is. It is a ute. Sadly, it's only level four, though. And to be honest with you guys, I think we could do better than that. We need to go get ourselves a high level one. Actually, in addition to all of that, might be an idea to look for some exp Whoa. Might be an idea to look for some explorer notes around here, right? I mean, like I say, not often I visit this biome. There's gonna be a whole bunch of stuff here. I hope. How many guys? Turns out there's actually plenty of stuff going on around here. Hello there, sir! Get freaking wrecked! So down here, ladies and gentlemen, there appears to be an explorer note, so let's go and grab that bad boy real quick. And we have ten minutes of increased e Oh my god, that's literally perfect. There's a freaking Alpha Kano here, ladies and gentlemen. This could be a pretty good source of XP here. Come on, broski. I'm gonna ruin your day. Come on. Oh, yep, there you go. You'll love to see it, guys. You'll love to see it. All right, well, uh, wait, what? Uh, we got Kano arm. Uh-huh. I mean, it doesn't really look like we've got a whole bunch of XP from that. However, with that said, we ourselves have almost got a level up for the first time in what I feel like is ages. We're nearly at level 104, which is actually very good because I need a bunch of engram points if I'm going to be making myself metal builds. I mean, look at this. There's a whole bunch of stuff still to unlock, and uh, it's just something worth mentioning, I guess. Oh my goodness me, there's a lot of stuff around here. Look at that, there's a whole bunch of Ankies and... Is this the Chalicotherium? Yeah, it is. What the hell are you? Megatherium? Huh. Okay, cool. You know what, Loki, I kind of want to see what's at the, uh, at the tip top of this freaking mountain. I don't really feel like... I don't really feel like I've explored up here. Is that a Giga? Holy... No, it just... Looks like a giant U. Is it? It is. It's... Uh oh. No, oh, we're, we're in trouble. Uh oh. This lasts for 15 seconds. Oh my god. Well, ladies and gents, I, I, I'm not even controlling my bird right now. Uh huh. Five seconds of no control. Holy heckers. I'm not okay with that. I'm not okay with that. I don't like it when there's anything affecting my movement. That's not cool. But guys, that was a level 50 ute. It could be nice to maybe tame it. But at the same time, I kind of want to see if I can get a higher level one. Something that's like level 75-ish plus. That will be a pretty good start in my opinion. So, let's see if we can get that. <laughs> what? Wow. You guys went to freaking town on his ass. God damn. I hate that dire wolves. <laughs> <laughs> that mammoth just went freaking flying, bro. Hey, it's snowing. Oh, this is cool. All right, what's the temperature, though? Negative seven. Okay, well, we should probably start being a little bit careful around here because, uh, you know, a woolly rhino. Oh, he just got absolutely freaking slaughtered. But yeah, we should start being careful around here because, uh, yeah, I think this is where the hostile part of this biome I was mentioning comes from. I think it's mostly the weather, which to be honest is why I'm very, very glad I have fur armor. Right, so what be going on here, huh? Deodons? What the devil is that? Hey, mutton! Oh, heck yeah! All right, now we just need to find a U, ideally a high level one, and then we can go from there. Oh my God, there's this. Holy heckers. Yo, legit, this looks actually beautiful. It's snowing and it's night time, man. This is fantastic. Oh, you gotta love that. That's a freaking view and a half, isn't it? You know what? That's gonna be freaking screenshot for the for the thumbnail. <laughs> I love it, dude. This is so pretty. Whoa! There's a level 112 Ute down there, female. Holy heck! How the oh? <laughs> what? Meanwhile, a rhino falls down the hill! <laughs> what? 
What? What the heck is going on, man? All right. Well, anyways, let's do it. Let's just park ourselves. Wow, that guy's having a freaking time of his life. God damn. All right. Well, I'm going to go for a little bit of health here. I just think it's a good idea. And we have, what, 123 engram points. Holy crappers. In addition to that, we do also have a level up for our uh, Argentavis. So I'm going to give her some more freaking... Oh, my goodness. Somehow, I'd like to try... Oh, my goodness. This, this could be very, very difficult. Right, here we go. We gotta start somewhere, ladies and gentlemen. Oh my goodness. Right, here we go, here we go, here we go. What? Right, who did that hit? That's the question. Oh my god, that you. Where is that you? There he is. Oh, she is. Go on. Dang it! How the heck are we gonna do this? Like, legit, I don't know how we're gonna do this. I've never tried to tame a you before. Right, here we go. This seems like a slightly better vantage point. Aha! Got you, sir! Got you, sucker! Boom! Uh, what, are you coming after me now? Uh-oh. Oh, you look like you're having a bad time, huh? Buddy? Oh, smegging hell! Where was that? Hello! <laughs> I'm so scared! I don't know what's going on! I don't like this! I'm taming a very unfamiliar dino! Oh, I really don't like this. Maybe if I perch myself on a rock here? Could prove to be a good idea. Oh, hello. Why are you even bothering, bro? Oh, this is so... Oh... Damn it! Oh man, this is gonna be so difficult, like legit. How the hell? Like, how in the actual hell am I gonna do this, bro? Okay, there she is. I need to find like a rock to perch myself on. She needs to stop going after every single bleeding dino in existence. There we go. What? Okay, that's a third hit. I've no idea how many hit. No idea how many hits this is going to take. You coming after me now? Doesn't look like it. I think we're still okay, guys. She seems pretty preoccupied here. Uh-oh. No, no, no. Not anymore. Not anymore. All right. Well, uh, yeah, she's now chasing something. Oh, my God. All right. Yeah, they're just freaking jumping down from places. Holy gosh. Okay. There's, there's like a, f it's like a full-on battle going on here. Go on, gotta hit the U. What was that? How the hell am I gonna do this? There's like freaking bears and direwolves and everything. Hey, broski. I'm gonna kill all of you. Holy guacamole! Get wrecked! No! Not any time today, sir! Oh my gosh. Okay, right. We gotta we've gotta be so freaking careful here. Oh heck no! Oh my god, this place is legit giving me freaking anxiety. I'm not kidding, dudes. Holy guacamole. Right, did we even hit the ute that time? Okay, that one hit her. Uh-oh. Oh, no! Me no wanty, sir. Me no wanty. Go and die, will ya? Freaking stupid ass Deodon. Jesus. Right, boom. That missed. Oh my god, guys. This is gonna take so freaking long. I'm not even managing to hit her now. God damn. No! She's quick! <laughs> oh my god! Whoa, 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 whoa! 
Oh, not this again. Guys, I'm gonna have to skip. I'll, I'll bring you guys in anything that's of worth showing you, but this is gonna be a freaking game of cat and mouse here. Oh my god, I feel like I'm living inside the Tom and Jerry cartoon. Holy gosh. Please say she didn't despawn. Come on. Alright, and down this way. Right. Your weight is just a little bit too much. Don't you know it's not? Huh. Alright, come on. Back to it. Back to it. Oh man, this effect is so freaking annoying. Oh my goodness me. Can you like actually get in the air or something so you're at least somewhat safe? Holy crap. Okay, so yeah, we're managing to get maybe three, maybe four shots into her before she does her whole raw thing and then she gets me out of control. I'm just hoping to the dear Lord God that she doesn't despawn. If she despawns, this entire thing has been worthless, okay? We can't have that happen under any circumstances at all, okay? We've got to be careful. Oh God, here we go. All right, it's becoming nighttime. Where's the ute? Ah, I think I think the Ute's up there. Aha! Are you still the level 112? Yeah, you are. Okay, you absolute beauty. Right, I need to reload and then we can get back to it. I HATE THIS DAILY BUFF! <sighs> Legit, this debuff needs to be removed from the game. I actually hate it! I HATE IT! There we go, my friends. We did have raw mutton. I just searched for meat instead of mutton like a blithering idiot. So basically, guys, all we have to do now is wait. Now, as far as I know, the mutton is its prepared or pre preferred, prepared, 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 prepared food. That's what it is. Yes, it is. There we go. Okay, so question. How do we make the ute saddle? Because at this particular moment, we do not have a ute in a saddle. Uh, fiber, hide. Metal silica pearls. Okay, uh, so we should hopefully be able to just like lure this gal back to base. It's going to be a heck of a journey. I'm going to be honest with you. It's going to be a heck of a journey. But if all goes well, and fingers crossed to the Lord gods, I hope it goes well, then uh, we might be in for a good time. Come on, baby. Oh, my God. This I've literally put my blood, sweat, and tears into this, man. What is going on with OBS, and why is the frame rate so freaking bad? So, yeah, ladies and gentlemen, you know, mistakes were made and all that. Uh, we forgot to bring the U2 in a saddle with us, and, uh, yeah, that kind of sucks. But, hopefully, like I said before, we'll have ourselves a nice, smooth journey back to base. I mean, this guy is going to be, what, level... 167, I think, if my maths is correct, she's going to be a pretty strong gal. And of course, uh, we will go ahead and uh, set her to defend herself and all that kind of stuff. Uh, so, yeah, I'm hoping that it will be a smooth transition. Now, once this gets to uh, 50 below the maximum, so 7150, uh, she should consume the final bit of mutton here, therefore becoming our Ute, which is brilliant. And I already have a name for her. We're going to call her Yasmin, because, you know, female, why? Yeah, why not? So, uh, yeah, this uh, the, the, to go on a bit of a technical sort of standpoint, or a little bit of a technical note, I've kind of noticed in OBS that uh, my computer's been really struggling to uh, encode this episode in terms of recording. So after this episode's done, it's, it's sort of kind of telling me that maybe, one, I need to look into my recording settings a bit better, or two, I may need a new computer in general. I have had this one for like three years now, and uh, I don't know, man. I don't know. There's bigger and better processors out there at this point. I'm running a 6950X Extreme Edition, which might... You know, it, it is good. It's a very good processor, but uh, there's better out there at this point, ladies and gents. So, uh, I think... I don't know. In, in the coming... Oh! In the coming week or so, we could potentially see a new computer coming in. But here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Yasmin Auto Courage. Wait, you have Auto Courage? That's cool. Enable Auto Courage mode. All right, well, we'll disable it for now. And, uh, oh, wow, yeah, you're you're pretty cool, buddy. Wow, you're freaking huge, bro. God damn. All right, well, uh, yeah, we'll have our followers. Hopefully. Yeah? You got followers? Come on, girlie. Oh, dang, this is freaking awesome. All right, well, uh, yeah, we need to make sure we're going in the correct direction, which is south. Yes, 
Southwards we go, ladies and gents. Maybe we can rank her up a whole bunch as we go along, huh? That'd be pretty awesome. Well, ladies and gents, it has literally been like a half hour journey, but here we are. Our Ute, Yasmin, is now finally back at base and now finally part of our Dino Clan. I mean, guys, this is freaking cause for celebration. So what we're going to do real quick is we're going to park ourselves here. Yasmin, you can stay there real quick and go. Oh, wow, you've got six levels up. Dang. All right, 15k health seems like a pretty good amount. And uh, I tell you what, we're just going to level up your melee damage because why not? I feel like melee damage is just a good thing to go for, isn't it? All right, so we're just going to go and get rid of all the meat real quick just so she's not, uh, you know, bogged down to... Oh, my goodness me. How much meat do you have? Yeah, it's taking a while, huh? <laughs> Dang, dude, that's a lot of stuff, man. Holy guacamole. All right, so guys, we need to go ahead and uh, remind ourselves the Utuina Saddle, Fiber, High, Metal, Silica. Hopefully, we have all of those stuff available. And ladies and gents, finally, the time has come. The Utuina Saddle, beautiful, 350 Hiber. Hyber, fiber, 425 hide, 135 metal ingots, and 125 silica pearls will give us a Uterina saddle. Brilliant. Okay, so now we can finally give this gal a bit of a ride. So, little Yasmin, or big Yasmin, you, you are one big dino there, sis. Oh my goodness me. All right, so here we go. Let's put this on, and bada bing, bada boom. Yeah, baby. Okay, this is kind of epic. All right. Yep, there's the roar. Alright, I think what you need to do is, like, have these guys, like, within the radius of it, right? Are you boosted at all? No? Huh. I thought that was the courage thing. Maybe it's, uh, maybe it's like, the special ability. I, don't, I can't remember how to do the special ability in this game, I'll be honest with you guys. Uh-huh. Okay, well, uh, maybe the auto-courage thing does it. Ooh, there we go. <laughs> Whoa. Beautiful. Enraged, huh? Beautiful. You'll love to see it, guys. You'll love to see it. Okay. Wow. Yeah, you do you, girly. You do freaking you. This is cool, though. Wow. Wow. This actually is kind of awesome. So next episode, I think what we'll do is try and uh, rank this gal up. And then maybe also, maybe try to do the whole Rex breeding thing. That'd be pretty awesome. Although, to be honest, would it not make more sense to make the Rex breeding platform over near the portal? Might be a good idea. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think in the comments area below. I'm always interested to uh, hear your guys' feedback. I mean, you know, we're we're starting to get to the point where I'm hitting the unknown in this game. So, of course, hints, tips, suggestions, always welcome in the comments area below. But for now, my friends, oh, that's beautiful. Guys, that's got to wrap it up for today's episode. Thank you guys very much for watching. If you guys have enjoyed today's episode, you guys know what to do. Drop a like rating. I'd very much appreciate it. Hit the subscribe button and don't forget to ding that bell. If you guys don't want to miss out on future content. But for now, my friends, thank you so much for watching. Have a fantastic rest of your day. And I'll see you guys in the next one.